Working together to solve problems is one of the most satisfying ways of going through life. And being forced to solve those problems by yourself is similarly the worst fate I can think of when traveling down this road. And if there's anything that Long Horizon has in spades, beyond a powerfully hype opening, creatively deep characters, and a fantastic sense of what an MMO really is, it's that spark of cooperating with tons of others to tackle goals and challenges that would reduce most people to ash in a second. Now, to give a little background on me before I delve into all the little dirty details of the topic, I've spent a lot of my time playing MMOs. Starting way back in the decade ago year of 2007, when I first started playing World of Warcraft. Though I didn't raid when I first started, the challenge and seemingly impossible tasks of raiding felt so compelling to me that I knew I had to get in on that thing eventually. And I did exactly that starting with Burning Crusade, when I first tasted the thrill of victory standing over the still burning corpses of Lady Vash and Kael'thas Sunstrider. I was a mage back then. That's why they were still burning. Anyway, Log Horizon reminds me a lot of when I felt that yearning and thirst for challenge. The urge to seek out that powerful bond I knew I could form with my fellow guildmates as we accomplished taking down a boss after boss before anyone else on the server could. Even going so far as to compete with other guilds in friendly rivalries of world PvP, and then seeing them there just around on the server I called home, back before all the cross-server and convenience nonsense. Well, everything about Log Horizon brings those memories back, and each episode reignited that love I have for MMOs in my body, which I can only imagine is the same for the one who created it, Mare Tono. This man truly understands every aspect of MMOs, much better than the creative Sword Art Online ever did for his characters and story, for one particular reason above everything else. Working together with others is required in an MMO. MMOs are all about cooperation, and throughout my time with them as they've become more and more streamlined, often to their detriment, the friendships and bonds I've forged when taking down those bosses or groups of PvPers have been some of the most important and fun experiences I've had in my life. No one person can defeat an entire raid on their lonesome, either PvP or in an actual raid, at least not when the content is current without some sort of bug going on. This fact is drilled even further into a more recently airing anime that I've also felt a strange kinship and growing fondness for. An actual Chinese cartoon called Quan Zi Gao Zhao, which is about a former top tier raider being shut off from his team by the money grubbing bastards in charge and joining a new server to start over in the game he loves so much, which I can honestly get behind and relate with. And in that game, while he's such an impressive player, so much so that he can almost solo whole mini boss creatures, he still requires those around him to work together with him to break through those obstacles and barriers he finds himself up against, such as the time trials or actual raids that require more than one person. In this way, the main character of Quan Zi Gao Zhao reminds me a lot of how Shiro operates as a coordinator, to tie it back into the whole Log Horizon topic this video is supposed to be about. Throughout my time playing, I've always felt the need to let someone else lead me to victory. I knew I could accomplish my task in whatever fight I needed to, and I often did perfectly. So watching Shiro as he controls so many different people is impressive in its ability of showcasing Shiro as a leader in all senses of the word. He understands the weaknesses and strengths of the people under his command. He knows which strategies will work against which monsters. And most importantly in this new world they find themselves in, he understands the need for quick thinking when the monsters and bosses go off on tangents that he doesn't expect. And honestly, all this is super impressive in the mental capacity required, especially later on as things get crazier and crazier. I've been raiding for a very long time, so I'm well aware leading people is a task I know I could never accomplish on my own, in any real regard, because I have a little bit of a problem with my, uh, lack of sympathy for those who can't accomplish what I view as simple tasks, since I so often did them perfectly. Another huge faucet of this leadership quality Shiro displays constantly ties into the main thrust of my point of bonds forged in the multiplayer part of the MMO acronym. This factor is present in how he shepherds and leads the groups of kids towards bigger and badder objectives, teaching them to grow and fight back in this dangerous new world they find themselves in. Shiro understands the necessity for those with skills like his to grow their own experiences to match his own, or at least follow in his footsteps, because delegation is required in every leader's repertoire. Not to mention, being able to coax these skills out takes a startling amount of empathy and sense of a person, which no doubt contributes to his ability to assign the people around him roles they're perfect to perform. 
Shiro is an impressive leader, and I could go on about his qualities all day. But there are other people I'd like to talk about, like his two sidekicks, Natsugu and Akatsuki, who follow his orders without questioning the success of his plans, at least after their first meetings since everything he does goes perfectly. Every time these two characters go willingly into danger, especially after realizing that death means losing their memories of the world they came from, is an ability that I admire and see myself encompassing in everything I do. I, just like Natsugu and Akatsuki, am raw power, but I need a direction and guiding hand, otherwise I'm just wasting that power in tangents and mishandled ventures. Even following in someone's footsteps is a blessing for me, because as I've said in previous videos, I'm often paralyzed by the sheer immensity of choice. Actually, now that I think about it, I've been talking about myself an awful lot lately. It's almost like these scripts really are me working through some sort of therapeutic crisis as I struggle to understand my mind and its place in everything. But I digress. All the people Shiro comes into contact with similarly lock in step with him, because they recognize the ability to see the bigger picture that will eventually lead them to their individual goals. Working with someone you know will take you forward even if you despise them is an actual skill I don't think is given enough credit. Especially since there are many out there that will take advantage of you given the slightest hint of a chance. As we see in the beginning of the show with the noobs being forced to slave away for the real adventurers who bring back all the food and supplies from their various journeys. For all these reasons and more that I'm probably not thinking of right now, Log Horizon is one of the best anime in recent memory to tackle the whole multiplayer portion of the MMO anime because it understands what an MMO is and what it needs to be, as a fan. Mechanics are required to be realistic in their portrayal, even with the strange magical differences that being transported the world means for the players. And working together with others to accomplish goals one can't do alone in a realistic manner, beyond Sword Art Online's belief in the self that others believe in bullshit, is incredibly important. Even beyond just the MMO anime, Long Horizon also captures that sense of adventure I want in true adventure anime, that I constantly bring up in my videos. There's a wanderlust to explore in an uncharted world, or even a previously charted one with new events and combination of events to wade through. And Long Horizon does this as a matter of course. There's mystery and intrigue and politics between both the players and the denizens of this new world they find themselves in. And it all fits together so well it boggles my mind that it isn't done more often in other anime. I find myself mesmerized by the possibilities of Log Horizon. And I think, above all else, that's the best takeaway I've gotten from watching this amazing anime. The true core of anime is the one thing I look at above all else. No matter how terrible or good it is on the surface, the possibilities that lie within these stories. The tales I can imagine ferreting out if I placed myself inside of them. The secrets I could unlock by taking this universe, this amazing, amazing aspect of humanity's boundless creativity inside myself, and using those building blocks to make my own story. The thought brings me to literal tears as I write this script, because humanity's greatest strength lies in our creativity. An anime brings it to life in a way that takes my breath away constantly. But to bring this video to a close, I'll leave you with a theory I've been mulling over in my head ever since the end of season 2. I wonder if these players aren't, in fact, the original players, so much as copies created as sort of a Hunger Games simulation, run by a company who got authorization to use the players' minds' copies in some kind of weird experiment. Shiro's alternate character further reinforces this thought. But, in the end, my theory is just another aspect of creativity that would only be possible by experiencing and immersing myself in this medium of creation I hold so dearly. This is why I end every video with the same message. Remember to enjoy the way you watch anime, in its every aspect, or even just on the surface. Because as long as you're feeling something, even the smallest iota of enjoyment from watching what you choose to watch in your own free time, that's all that really matters. I'll see you in the next one.